Hey yo, what's up my little coders? Let me show you in this tutorial how to solve the little question 263, ugly number. So, write a program to check whether a given number is an ugly number. And the ugly numbers are positive numbers whose prime factors only include 2, 3 or 5. So, for those of you who don't know what is the prime factorization, it is basically finding which prime numbers um, to multiply together to make the original number. However, in our case, we are limited to these three prime numbers, 2, 3, and 5 only. Or So simply speaking, if you are given the input number and we can multiply these three numbers somehow together, and in the end, by multiplying only the, any of these three numbers together, we get the input value. In this case, if it's possible, then we need to return true. Let's say if it's 6, we can just multiply 2 by 3 and we get 6, so perfect. We just return true. If it's not possible, like with 14, then we just return false. This is basically what we need to do. Now let's think about it. Let's consider one ugly number. Let's say 18 is an ugly number. And I will prove you now why it is an ugly number. So, 18. How can we get to 18? Okay, what if we divide 18 by 2? Doesn't mean that we get 9, right? So, 2 multiplied by 9 is 18. However, 9 is not a, pri uh, a prime number, and we can divide and we can make 9 by multiplying 3 by 3 as well, right? And it also means that like, if we multiply 2, 3, and 3, we get 18. So this is the ugly number. And one thing to know, so it's quite obvious, but as you remember from your school lessons, it doesn't matter, like when you multiply the numbers, let's say, it doesn't matter in which order you do it, because you can also, for example, divide 18 by 3, let's say. So 3 is a prime number, and then we get 6 here. So 3 multiplied by 6 is 18. However, 6 is made from uh, 2 multiplying by 3. And all of these three numbers are prime numbers, and they're included in this list as well. So this is like another way of getting to 18, right? So as you can see here, the order here is different, like 3, 2, 3, I would say. But here's like 2, 3, 3. So the order doesn't matter. So what does it mean for us? Okay, let me just quickly write the code and I will explain what it does, what does it mean for us. Okay, okay, guys. So... What does it mean for us? So first of all, this is kind of the base case. We check if the number is positive or not, because it should be positive. If it's not, we just return false. But after that, so as we just discussed, we will try to divide the input number by 5, 3, and 2. So let's, let's say consider 18 again, right? So we go to the file loop. We cannot divide 18 by 5, and this is fine. So we don't update the num. After that, we go to this file loop. We can divide 18 by 3, so we will get 6. And after that, once we get 6, we can still divide 6 by 3. We get 2. We can divide 2 by 3 without the, without the remainder. So we move to the next while loop, and we can divide 2 by 2. And if you can do it in that, our num will be equal to 1, which will mean that like, we have divided the original number uh, by only by these three prime numbers, and in the end we don't have any reminder left. So, and if, if if it's the case, it means that it's an ugly number, and we just will return. And then like, num will be equal to one. One is equal to one. We just return true. It means that like, okay, this number is an ugly number. If we will have a reminder, and like the num by the end of this division of this while loops will not be equal to one, then it means that it's not the ugly number. So we will just return false. Simply as that, guys. Okay, let me submit. Perfect, guys. 100%. Thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and challenge your friends to see if they can solve this question or not. And, guys, remember, lead code today keeps an appointment away. So, do lead code and watch these videos. Take care, guys. See you later.